Cops in a drug bust that included marijuana infused popcorn and brownies. Here's a look at some of the items authorities seized. Channel 2's Tom Regan reports from Hall County. Investigators say drug dealers are buying in other states and reselling here for big profit. Pot infused popcorn, pot brownies, THC vaping oil, hash oil, psychedelic mushrooms, and pounds of pot. Undercover investigators say they seized the $60,000 stash from this house in Flowery Branch, where 30 year old Kyle Foster was allegedly selling the unusual variety of drugs. And I've noticed just in the past five years alone, just a market uptick in these kind of cases. This undercover drug investigator told me he believes Foster was traveling to or had contacts in California or Nevada where pot in its various forms is legal and had the goodies shipped back to sell in Georgia. Popcorn was selling for about $30 a bag. The uh, brownies were approximately $85 a bag. And they're potent. A marijuana cigarette may have about 150 milligrams of THC, but the popcorn? Each package contains uh, 1,000 milligrams of THC, and the brownies contain 1,800 milligrams of THC per, per brownie. With the legalization of, of marijuana and, and THC products in some states, that has opened up a, a new resource for our local distributors. And some fear selling edible pot will attract younger users. There's a possibility that this would expand uh, the, the user base for the products. Now, Channel 2's Tom Regan joins us now live from Hall County. Tom, people are getting these products from states where marijuana is legal, and they travel there. This is not stuff you can mail. That's right, Javita. Of course, there are many businesses in states like Colorado and California that sell recreational weed, but you still cannot buy it online. Of course, shipping marijuana through the U.S. mail is a federal crime, so these businesses simply will not do that regardless of profit. Javita? All right.